Raider Nation, what is the deal? Once again, it's your guy Panama Fargo, and I'm back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. Once again, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, all love shown is reciprocated. Look, check this out. Today, we're going to be talking about the Las Vegas Raiders' top five quarterback options going into 2023. And this is based on reports and rumors we've already seen, and also what I personally feel like would be straight for us going into next year. So we got to start the list off right with the bad man himself, number one, Aaron Rodgers. Look, I feel like when you have a chance to get this type of talent, you need to swing for the fences, and Aaron Rodgers is definitely a big swing. Now, is there risk involved? Yes, there's risk involved. We don't know how long he's going to be playing for after this. But me personally, if his heart is in it, if he wants to play, I feel like he got a good two to three years of football left. Okay, now, not even to mention, I don't even think it's going to take that much to trade for him. I see a lot of trade rumors flying around. Everybody's saying you're going to have to give up this, this, and that. Keep this in mind. If he holds the threat of retirement over Green Bay, that's a lot of money on the books. Green Bay is owing. Aaron Rodgers, and, and that's a lot of money they're going to owe to somebody who's not on the roster. So, keeping that in mind, they're going to work with him with whatever team he wants to go to. So, if he sits there and says, I want to go to Las Vegas, they're going to try to make that happen. So, it, it, knowing all that information, I feel like it would be perfect to bring him in. He instantly elevates the offense. It instantly elevates everybody's mindset. Number two, Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, seeing from Las Vegas locally. The ball is rolling, and I've already seen this offseason. If you can't get Aaron Rodgers, they're already talking about getting Jimmy Garoppolo. Me, personally, I don't want Jimmy Garoppolo, okay? I feel like he's the same thing as Derek Carr. Now, Derek Carr has better arm talent than Jimmy Garoppolo. At the same time, Maybe what we were lacking from Derek, we would be gaining from Jimmy, which is somebody who is already comfortable in this system and somebody that already knows what Josh McDaniels likes and does not like. Okay, now maybe it, it makes the offense look better. But at the end of the day, my main concern as well is that Jimmy G is injury prone. Okay, and we're going from Derek Carr, who is pretty reliable, pretty reliable for being on the field, to a guy who really hasn't played that much in two seasons. So... I don't think that's a good option for us. I think that puts us in fucking quarterback hell again or just team purgatory. You can say we win eight games, right? Josh McDaniels is fired because he won eight games. Dave Ziegler is fired because they won eight games, right? And the new regime comes in and they don't fucking like Jimmy G. But they're sitting there with the 12th, 11th, 13th overall pick. What the fuck are you going to do with that? I just don't feel like... That's a viable option for us going forward. Okay, now number three, we're going to keep getting younger as we go, but we're still going veteran. Number three, got to roll with Jared Stidham. Okay, now, if Jared Stidham is your starting quarterback in 2023, that tells me that Josh, Dave, and Mark have all had conversations and they all have pretty much assurances that Josh and Dave will be back in 2024. Because me personally, I feel like Jared Stidham only wins you about six to seven, maybe six to five games okay so at that regard i don't think we get better i just think you needed to stop gap because you did not get who you really wanted but me personally if we're gonna go with jared stidham we might as well go with my fourth option and the fourth option would be cj stroud from ohio state okay i've already made a couple videos talking about how he would like to come here check that out but at the end of the day i feel like he fits this skill set now what we're going to have to think about, we're going to have to give up a lot of trade compensation or draft compensation to try to get this man, okay? Some may argue, and I would argue, that it would cost more to get C.J. Stroud than it would to get Aaron Rodgers. But if the C.J. Stroud option works, you have your quarterback for the next 10 to 15 years, and that's really what you're looking for, right? And you have to be very, very certain that that is the guy, okay? And because we're going to be mortgaging a lot. We're probably going to be mortgaging. If you're trying to jump to the number three, jump to the number two spot, which is probably going to command, that's it's mortgaging a lot of future. So you have to be sure that is the guy. Now, number five, last but not least, okay, this is still, we're going back to the NFL draft. The guy I like, if it's not Stroud, I would take Anthony Richardson from Florida. Now, Anthony Richardson from Florida to me is a project. I feel like he's about a year away from being where he needs to be as far as NFL ready. 
So you could do a thing where you draft or you take Jared Stidham and still draft your boy Richardson and let him sit, let him learn the McDaniels offense. And in 2024, we off to the races. Maybe that's the route they want to go. But at the end of the day, I feel like he is a very, very good option as far as if you want somebody to sit, learn, and come in with all the tools next year. Because he has everything. To me, he has all the arm talent. He has all the athleticism to be in the league and be a very scary quarterback. But he has to figure fix a lot of mechanical things that he got going on with him. And, and if McDaniels can do that and get a chance to mold him for a year, I feel like it would be straight. But those are my top five quarterback options. Once again, let's roll through it again. We got... Aaron Rodgers, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jared Stidham, CJ Stroud, and Anthony Richardson. All right, y'all let me know, though. What's y'all top five? What, what do y'all feel like the Raiders should go as far as direction um, with this quarterback position? Because that's one of the main positions we need to compete with the Kansas Cities and the Chargers and all these other AFC teams. So y'all let me know in the comments, man. And, and remember, we always keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on the Raider Rundown.